Good morning, and welcome to the 13th SMR Asia Pacific Conference. And as you can see, I am not Dita Korchak. <laughs> I'm Praveen Shekhar, standing in for Dita, who's in this post at the moment. It's our sincere hope that you enjoy the next two days out here in Shanghai, a perfect setting for a key regional event in a country that is one of the major engines of growth globally. And that, coming from an elephant to the dragon, is a direct compliment. I need 30 seconds of your time. If all of you could kindly close your eyes. Close your eyes and go back to your childhood a long time ago. All of us would have experienced this. Imagine the time when you were given a cylindrical tube in your hand with glass at both the ends. Imagine the hours you spend tweaking one end, rotating one end of this cylindrical tube and reveling in joy at the phenomenal designs thrown at you. Open your eyes, folks. Do you remember this? Simple pleasure, simple joy, it still brings a smile to your face. Carry that all the way through as we open the SOMA APAC event, which is pretty much a kaleidoscope of different perspectives for the different regions of Asia. And I'm an embodiment out there. I'm wearing an Indonesian shirt, Indian jacket, Chinese collar stitched in Thailand. <laughs> that is Asia Pacific for you. Dissimilar environment, dissimilar cultures, but we are blending together as one. There was one question that was raised. Is APAC a region at all? Definitely yes. A melting pot. And with all this going local going on, there is a tremendous social transformation going on, and you and I are a part of it. As we mark the start of the APAC conference, we've got over 300 people from 32 countries. And for all you online panel folks, this is definitely global, regional, and local representation at play. This event also represents a first for ESOMA. ESOMA APAC is being streamed live as the first go, and I would like to extend a warm welcome to all the remote delegates across the globe. They'll hear the claps as well, so feel free with that. At the moment, I'd also like to introduce you to an initiative by SOMA, an initiative aimed at reinvigorating the grassroots. This initiative is called SOMA Next. I've got to click it. Ah. We'll come to that in a minute. But SOMA Next, as I said, is an initiative aimed at students at the next generation of market researchers. I'd like to introduce bright young students. So wherever you are, could you come onto the stage as I call your name? Yes. <laughs> Philip Arnheim, Jessica Yao, and Natalie Zhang from CEIBS China. Kanish Agarwal from NMIMS University, India. Shauna Shi from Nanyang Business School, Singapore. Daisy Lin, National Chao Tung University, Taiwan. Now, these students are networking ambassadors who will help facilitate your stay out here at the conference. They are primarily here to learn more about our industry, the ins and outs of the daily life of researchers. And we know how exciting that can be. Yeah. Well, I have been following these student ambassadors for about seven, eight years now, and some of them have come back, joined our industry, and continue to rock. So I encourage all of you to spend a lot of time with these students over the next couple of days, bond with them. I definitely have seen some of these student ambassadors absorbed into the companies once they graduate. So they are ready, available interns, but then the next couple of days, they're gonna be badgering you with a whole bunch of questions. Please be patient and answer them because these uh, are pretty much, these young students, all youngsters on stage, are embodiments of the next generation. So thank you very much and feel free to question them. I'd also like to mention a couple of awards. The Young Researcher Award competition is now open, and so is the Research Effectiveness Award. All the details regarding these important awards are on the website. They are available online, and I encourage each of you to encourage the young researchers in your association as well as your marketing divisions to go ahead and put it through for the Research Effectiveness Award. There is a jury, and they'll take care of it, but the winners will be announced at the SMA Congress in Atlanta. This is the first time we are having a conf the entire Congress in the US, and it's also to commemorate the 65th birthday of SMA. It's gonna be a great one, folks, so reserve your seats right now.
No conference is possible without able and willing helping hands. And it's time now to thank our key sponsor, the SMA APAC partner, Ipsos, not just in Shanghai, but across the region. Thank you very much, Ipsos. To our networking dinner sponsor, TNS, thank you. Please, please be free with your claps. <laughs> to our silver sponsors, Toluna, Labrand, and Statsit, thank you very much. To our bronze sponsors, Research Now, Market Excel, and QPA. <laughs> to media partners, it cannot be possible without CMRA and the media partners. So thank you very much, CMRA Research World and Research Results. <laughs> and to WAC, who've been our continued supporter as our official knowledge partner. Right. Thanks are also due to the program committee event definitely could not have been possible without great support from the program committee. We have um, hours of review, going through, scheduling appointments, rescheduling, rehearsals, re uh, online rehearsals, the works, you know how it is. And thank you very much to the entire bunch, led by David Richardson. We also have Daryl Andrew, Gloria Zhang, Jim Saylor, Vanessa Oshima, John Smothwaite, and myself. The program committee has worked, and I can watch for it exceptionally hard, to ensure that we have a fascinating program and an amazing selection of speakers. Please note, you would have received an email. Um, I hope you haven't deleted it, but that has a link to all the papers of today that you can download and tomorrow. I have a question right now. Haven't you wondered, I've always wondered, whenever I attend these conferences as delegates, and I see a mind-blowing presentation. Wow, what a presentation. This particular person has gone the extra mile to ensure that I have a great conference. How do I reward him? Back slapping, thumbs up sign, good job, mate. A wink here. Is that the best you can do? Well, all of you have the power in your hands to vote for the best presentation of the APAC conference and to give the presentation winner an iPad. Wouldn't you love it? I would love it if I have the power. This also encourages all the presenters here, go the extra mile, wow the audience, so the iPad is yours. How can you do it? Well, there are two modes. You have, you can download the SMR application, go to surveys and uh, put in. Every session you've got to focus uh, consciously so that there is a code that is being provided to you. For those who don't want to download the app, you can go online, right there. Access codes will be provided at the end of every session. Oh, I'd love it. I'd definitely love it, and I'm going to vote for it, and I encourage all of you to vote. So that is interaction going on, and the presenters also know that you've got to go with the oomph. We'll be announcing the winner at the closing session, but that's not all. That is, well, patience is a virtue. For all of you patient enough to wait till the closing session, that is a surprise waiting for you to commemorate SMR 65th birthday anniversary. Not at liberty to tell you what it is, but... Closing session, be there. Finally, it's great pleasure for me to introduce the program committee chairman, David Richardson, a lovely individual whom I've had the pleasure of uh, getting to know better over the last few months, and more so over last night's dinner. David has been an MR practitioner in APAC for over 25 years, so he's pretty much inculturated in out here. He's currently the managing director of Ipsos APAC. So I hand it over to you, David. And for the rest of you, have an amazing conference. Rock on. Great. Thank you, Pravin.